Hi, in this video, we're going to show you a nice little free tool you could use to do things such as minimize a program to the system tray instead of the taskbar, and also make your uh, window semi-transparent as well. So it's a free program called 4T Tray Minimizer. So this is an older program, and it's been around for a while, but it still seems to work uh, fairly well even on Windows 11. So once you download it and install it, you'll have it running in your system tray, and I think you, you could have this hidden too. So you could actually open it to get to the options. And you can see there's a lot of keyboard shortcuts if you don't want to use the uh, actual buttons on the window, uh, interface options, exclusions for what you don't want to be able to minimize, title bar options, hiding options, you know, like for this one here, if you don't want to show the tray icon down there, and general options. And then, of course, you could have it run on startup and go right to the system tray if you uh, keep these checked, which are checked by default. Okay, so how it works, let's say we have a window open here. Uh, it'll add some new buttons here. When you do the installation, it'll run you through a wizard asking you how you want to configure it. As in, you know, if you want to put these buttons and some other options, and you could actually go back and run the wizard again if you want to change these options. So you have your regular buttons here. Then you have your transparent buttons. Let me kind of minimize this a little here, make it smaller. So you can see it's now it's semi-transparent like so. And then this option here will pin it to the top here so no other windows could go in front of it. Like so. And you can just unpin it. Then this option here is to roll up to the uh, title bar. So you just have a title bar floating around here. Kind of interesting. And then right here we have the Minimize to tray. So if we do that, you can see now it doesn't look like edge is open, yet it's open down here. And you could just bring it back. Same for this one here. And then just bring it back as needed. So if we do a few of them, you'll see it just adds it to your list down there. And let's open something new here. You can see when it gives you a little bar there, we could instantly put this down there as well. And just bring them back up as needed. like so. And now also, so let's hide these again. So now let's say we go here, instead of right clicking it, you could double click it, and then you could see your hidden windows. And then you could restore, you could restore all, you could actually close them, you could add exclusions, create favorites. And then if you want to run through the wizard, again, you have the options here, which we saw already. And you have the options wizard, so this will kind of run you through the guide for the same configuration that you saw when you first install it, if you want to make changes there. Okay, so I will put a link in the description where you can download 4T Tray Minimizer for free. I believe they have a pay-for version too with some additional features if you're into that. So like I said, it's an older program, but it seems to work fine. So you could uh, install it and see how it works for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.